May 4, Saturday of the Second Week of Easter A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the sea to Capernaum. It had already grown dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they began to be afraid. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading. The Gospel of the Lord It is I. Do not be afraid. The disciples of Jesus are sturdy fishermen and are used to the ways of the lake. But in the gospel, they are stricken with fear. After all, it is dark, the wind is exceedingly strong, and they see a figure coming to them that they imagine to be a ghost. Fear follows the path of every man and woman like a shadow, by the very fact that human life is fragile and perishable. But while fear is a constant theme in the Bible, there is also the corresponding assurance from the Lord. The Psalms, in particular, are replete with expressions of fear and promise of succor. A good example is Psalm 91. He, the Lord, will shelter you with his pinions, and under his wings you may take refuge. His faithfulness is a protecting shield. You shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that roams in darkness, nor the plague that ravages at noon. Jesus comes to his frightened disciples as one who has power over the strong wind, because he is the great I Am. The disciples have nothing to fear. <laughs>